and our brand's the underbit, which is the same thing, only cut on the under part of the ear. Hey, boy, you don't want to lose any of your hogs. You get them out of my herd in a hurry, you hear? Woo, 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 woo. Here's one. Hey, Sterl, come here. One line down, see? Once a buyer gets all he needs, then the price drops way down. Hey, no sense waiting two days when you can leave right now. There's a shortcut over them hills to Prairie Town. Cuts off a full day's driving time. How come Tobias don't take it? Well, he likes a stage road because it's easy. Look, John, we can beat Tobias to Prairie Town with that shortcut. Uh, I think we're just begging for trouble. Hank, will you go with us? Why, sure, Sterl. If you say it's okay. I'm just a hard hand. He's the trail boss. I'll hire on for two car wheels, same as Tobias is going to pay. You may not have that much to spare after the drive. Pay me when you got it. Well, what are we waiting for? we got a race on our hands. Uh, Tobias drop his eyeballs and we get to Prairie Town first. I can't either. It's gonna be salty. I still ain't keen on this shortcut. We don't know what we're heading into. Oh, well, ain't nothing to a rope, John. Prairie Town straight away north. If we head right for that mountain peak, we're gonna get there. Tobias is getting ahead of us. We better get going. I reckon you know we might be making a mistake. We don't have a choice. <laughs> Come on, Pete. 
up tight and looking for an empty belly. It'll find two empty bellies right here. Study the hard to spell. Toppy, go with him and keep him company. Give him a lullaby if you know one. Well, here she comes. <laughs> His shoes with it? He polished his shoes with it? Relax. That shirt was already washed in Dynamo 2. We call it the stain stopper. We wash two synthetic shirts, wipe them with shoe polish, then wash them again. Dynamo 2 stopped that smear from becoming a stain. The leading detergent didn't. He polished his shoes with it. <laughs> Keep your whole wash cleaner with Dynamo 2, the stain stopper. John, it was the first day of testimony for plaintiff Diane Bjornstrom in her suit against pop star Tim Ritchie. Tim Ritchie is the most sensual man of his time. His name's Brian Charles. Well, I suppose you've heard of him. How well do you know Brian? Well, as you know, smackhead. Next on the Rockford File. Shooting at us, Eddie. Rockford, Thursday at 7 on KW27. From Touchstone Pictures, Ronald Miller's got what it takes. I've been getting straight A's since birth. But now he wants something more. Ladies! So he's changing his looks, changing his style, changing his strategy. I want to rent you. Rent me? A progressive concept. I think that's Ronald Miller. It's a comedy for anyone who's ever wanted to be the best. He's such a, such a heartbreaker. Can't Buy Me Love, rated PG-13. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Check your local newspaper. No, no, no. Some news hound I am, Toucan. Not a story all morning. Really? I even missed breakfast. Your nose for news can't find a scoop. Let mine report on more flavor of fruit. More fruit flavor? Hey, that's a great lead. Then follow my nose. Follow nose. The Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Now made with more natural fruit flavoring. It's part of this complete breakfast. More natural fruit flavor? What a story. Best news I've heard all day. Another bowl then? Sure. Extra, extra. <laughs> Come on! 
shut on you never get them open again get away hey boys daylights are burning and so are your eggs Supper. They's trespassing. No, we ain't squatted long enough to have title. Well, how are they gonna know that? Yeah, well, I ain't gonna tell. Yeah. <laughs> Gents, y'all lost or something? No, no, we just uh, dicking about a shortcut. No, no, I, I figure you lost. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, Vernon? Yep, I reckon so. You see, this here's private land. You know, I believe they's trespassing. Yeah, didn't see no sign that said this is private land. Well, that don't make no never mind. Sorry if we're trespassing, mister, but our hog stampeded from the... Well, now, that ain't our grief now, is it? <laughs> what do you fellas want? Well, you see, when you trespass, you got to pay. <laughs> we don't have any money. Oh, no, you don't need any money. Uh, do they, Judd? Eh, no, 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 no. Hogs will do just fine. <laughs> no, I can't spare one. Well, now, one's not what I had in mind. I was thinking more in terms of, let's uh, say, four. No! <laughs> back, back! Now, son, keep a tight hold on him unless you want to see him shot dead. I reckon <laughs> we ought to cut out our trespassing fee, Judd. Yeah. <laughs> now, you don't want to do that. Just get somebody hurt. <laughs> I'll show you there ain't no hard feeling. I'll let you make it up to me, all right, okay? Vernon? Yeah? You like this here pea shooter? Boy, I sure do. <laughs> well, it's yours. It's a present from a friend here. <laughs> Boy, I've been itching for a new shooter. <laughs> hey, how about a few more hogs? Well, we don't want to be piggy. Piggy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think eight of them will be just fine. <laughs> We're much obliged to you. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Here you go, Piggy. Do it, do it, come on, Piggy. Do 
Get out of here to full gallop. We've got to get those hogs back. Well, how do you even do that? They got our rifles and we ain't got diddly. And it ain't worth risking the whole herd for eight hogs. Besides, we don't even know where they're taking them. Toppy can track them easy enough. We'll drive the herd as far as we can today. Then Rope John, you'll stay with the herd while Hank and I come back tonight. Hank will stay with the herd. I got a score to settle. Consider a false move. Says I don't make it. Don't even twitch, you poor cat. I ain't twitching. Just make sure that thing don't go off. It hurt somebody. Boy, old Toppy chased that hand right clean out of the country. <laughs> All right, outside. Come on. Grab some of that, and we'll put a few bows on this fella. <laughs> rest pretty package. What about the other one? Oh, uh, he's gonna rest easy for quite a spell. Somebody's got to cut this poor devil free. Or uh, he's gonna be buzzard bait for long the way you got him tied. Think we ought to take the guns so they don't follow us? Oh, now, you don't want to take our rifles. Or we'll plumb starve without them. Well, the notion ain't actual displeasing. If we could only be sure they wouldn't follow us. How about, uh, if I give him a word? <laughs> that ain't go to get it. I, um, uh, know what will. What you gonna do? I'm gonna leave your rifle. <laughs> In little bitty pieces. Our 
story continues after these messages. We're rolling out some great deals at Pizza Inn. Right now, with any food purchase, you'll get two 16-ounce Coca-Cola mugs for just 99 cents. So get into Pizza Inn now and ask for the Coke Mug Special. <laughs> We're rolling out some great deals at Pizza Inn. Right now, with any food purchase, you'll get two 16-ounce Coca-Cola mugs for just 99 cents. So get into Pizza Inn now and ask for the Coke Mug Special. Some things are definitely worth repeating. Join KDEV for the stories of four customers of a small antique shop that promises a big novelty surprise with every purchase. Peter Cushing stars in From Beyond the Grave, Saturday night at 10.30 on KDEV 27. All you Mickey Mouse fans, perk up your ears. Duncan Hines is celebrating the Walt Disney World 15th birthday with a special present for you. Just scurry on down to your supermarket, buy any two Duncan Hines mixes, and pick up your Mickey Mouse memo board free on the spot. Don't miss out on the Walt Disney World 15th birthday party. Join the celebration with your Mickey Mouse memo board free from Duncan Hines. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, hold tight a little longer, be close a little longer. But you'll need a Wyoming twister to shake them loose from where they've been hit at. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come on, Come on, Get out of here. Come on. Come on now. Get him going. Let's go. Come on, Pixie. Come on, Judd. Wake up. Judd, untie me. We're heading right. Don't you worry. I hope so, because I want to put a lot of prayer between us and those hog rescues. You drove all night, Sterl. I haven't rested the hogs. I'm beat. Me too. Hey, Rope John, hold up. We're to the red. Oh, whoa. Hold up. We're almost out of water. We were friends so much about them hog rustles, we clean forgot to fill the barrels. What are we going to do? Well, give them all we can, then move on till we find more. You said there's lots of creeks on this shortcut. There were, three years ago. Well, maybe we'll find one before the sun fries us. about twice the size of yours. What's wrong, Rope John? 
The team is just plumb wore out. Well, it can't be. We've got a long way to go yet. The Hawks are tired, too. Well, we're all tired. But Tobias is due in Prairie Town tomorrow morning. And we got to drive all night to make up for the day and a half we lost. Hey, you can bet Tobias lost plenty of time with that storm, too. <laughs> He's probably still chasing his hogs. Well, we're not going to get top dollar for our herd unless we beat him. We'll get there first. Tobias will still be out in the stage when we're counting our money. Well, we can feed him the last of the grain and water and then start fresh with the sun. Okay, but we got to start early. decisions these last few days and doing it well beyond your years. You can handle it. Okay, I'll try. But what if... Get going. I got a ton of prairie dust and my throat didn't need washing down with a cold beer. I'll try. should be doing this since I've already got my quarter, but I can extend my authority to buying yours. But a two cents a pound, mind. But, sir, two cents isn't enough. I figure we've got to have at least three cents a pound. After I reach my quarter, that's all I've been paying, and I can't do better than that. But, sir, I need five hundred dollars. We just got through driving our hogs over a hundred miles for that kind of money. Look, Stroll's pa got hurt bad. He needs an operation to walk in. That's what the money's for. Girl, I'd pay you more if I could. But I don't fix the prices. It just works for them that does. Everybody's depending on me. I tell you what. You drive the hogs in, we weigh them. You just might have enough. But... Oh, okay, Red. We'll be right back with them. continues after these messages.
from Touchstone Pictures, Ronald Miller has a dream. Wouldn't you like to be popular? Ronald Miller has a scheme. I want to rent you. Just going out with me is not going to make you popular. Well, I have a thousand dollars. It says it will. Now his life will never be the same again. I think that's Ronald Miller. Where'd you get those hot moves? Ronald Miller. It's like the dude's not weird anymore. And he's still alive. Can't Buy Me Love, rated PG-13. Starts tomorrow at a theater near you. Check your local newspaper. We're going to use this champagne glass to demonstrate just how much support a Big Sur Hibernation Series water mattress can give you. A Hibernation Series mattress provides temperature-controlled comfort, firmness without pressure points, and incredible wave reduction. Choose from five different degrees of support from just $29.99 to $199.99. The Hibernation Series, only at Big Sur Water Beds, 650 East Battlefield, just east of Campbell in Springfield. If you haven't watched The Late Show lately, you don't know what you've been missing. I've got sunshine. Entertainment every night on the Late Show. Weeknights at 10 on KDEB 27. Hogwild will continue after these messages. I sure hope Gladys appreciates all this work. This shirt smells like I built you a mansion. Oh, what a happy dog. What a dirty shirt. Uh, your shirt smells. We can wash it. Wash it in surf. Unlike detergents that just cover up odors, Surf actually removes both dirt and odors. Sure looks good, Dad. <laughs> Smells good, too. Surf removes both the dirt and the odors. You're about to experience a whole new feeling. New Sure with Desert Spice Scent. If you'll go with the feeling, it'll add new spice to your life. in your first day but you wake up your favorite way cause with folders to prove the aroma's calling you the best part of waking up is folders in your car nothing brightens your morning like mountain grown folders mountain grown coffee beans have more enticing aroma and richer flavor than any other kind a rich aromatic blend is your best morning friend Start you out feeling good. The day goes like it should. The best part of waking up is folders in your car. When you buy an old-fashioned bed, what you get is a box spring and mattress, and if you're lucky, they'll throw in a Hollywood frame. Mmm, stunning. When you buy a Big Sur water bed, you get a handsome wood frame. Your choice of dozens of headboards and temperature-controlled flotation sleep, all for a lot less money. Beds like the four-post NASA for just $259.99. Big Sur Water Beds, America's largest. 650 East Battlefield, just east of Campbell in Springfield. When it's this good inside. And now, back to our story. Oh, well, that's the last lad. That one weighs 185 pounds. Let's see, that comes to... $386.40. We'll call it 387. I know it's not as much as you need. I wish I could give you more, lad.
$20 short. Maybe we could sell the horses in the wagon. Ah, oh, it ain't worth much. Besides, we need them to get home. Must be something I can do. Well, if we think on it, we'll come up with something. I got a little thinking to do over to the saloon. They got a beer a mile high with my name on it. See back directly. We'll think of something. Come on. Hey, you know, you're mighty handy with the Riata. Maybe you could stay to rope and show and charge a mission. Nobody would pay to watch me rope. What if you was to rope a hog? Folks can't see that. I don't know if I can do it again. I bet you can. I'll take that bet. How much a wager you got in mind? We were really making a bet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's just shooting off their mouths. <laughs> no, stroking two rope a hog. I seen him do it. Ain't nobody. Nobody can rope a hog. Stroke can. Well, now, I'll just bet you even money that he can't. Come on, fish up your betting money or button up your yaps. Well, we ain't betting. Wait, Hank. Maybe we are. <laughs> How much you got? I need $120. And I'll bet that much I can rope a hog. Yeah. Dirty. 70, 120. And you got yourself, uh, wait, well, uh, we'll get Red to hold the stakes, huh? Come on. Are you sure you know what you're doing, boy? Well, it's your money, still. All right, Tobias, let's set up the ground rules. The roping takes place in the auction canal. The lad gets three tries at the hog. And I'll supply the hog. All right. Are we all agreed? Then let's get on with it, then. The box cars will be coming in any time. Oh, money! Oh, money! <laughs> Pleasure to see your old back hog. As far as I know, it's impossible, lad. Not impossible. It's a good lad. Hey, didn't you hear some fool kid just bet over a hundred dollars he can rope a hog? You're a chush. This I gotta see. There's over a hundred dollars riding on this kid. Want to try and rope himself a hog? Jumpy horse man. This ought to be some. out there to rope from. The hogs can't see nothing above them. And roping from a platform, the side never even know you was there. He's right. I've got some empty packing cases. I'll get some of the lads to move them in for you. Hey, boys, come over here. Come on. Move these two boxes in there now. Come on, move them. Let's have them. Set them up. Come on. That's my mama's 
All right, come on. Over there. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. left, and I'll stake that for another chance. We don't stay. Well, boy, you want to throw away all your money? I'll be tickled to take it. But, uh, you only get one more try. Huh? That boy dies hard, doesn't he? But he's, he's got no other choice. Here, Porky Butch. Here, Porky Butch. 